Hello gamers, there is a talisman that I've wanted for a very long time. And that being the Kudra follower, like relic or artifact or whatever it is, the Kudra talisman. It helps with Kudra. I mean, not really. I just want to get it because it would just be cool to get it. And it's free magical power. I know next to nothing about getting this. So this would be kind of fun for me just to like learn about it and that. I, I was there when, uh, when it was found. I mean, I wasn't actually there, but like I was aware that it had been found. I was like, oh wow, that took a while. I'll watch that watch that video but um yeah all i know about the the quest is that you need a cataclysmic lobby uh to, and a drill to right click a certain block by the magma boss and you'll get the relic so the last like this was a very long time ago i'm talking like at least half a year ago i think i went ahead and did that which block is it there it is your kudra relic Okay, so we got that. It is right here. There it is, the Kudra Relic. And I know that you also need a million Netherrack collection and a million Magma Cream collection. And I have just finished getting the million Netherrack. And I also have the million Magma Cream. That's all I know. So I am a part, I am in the official Hunters Discord, which has guides on how to get the stuff right here. So here's the leggings, which uh, which we're going to go ahead and get right now. So this says that it's one of the four pieces required to interact with Draku. I need to click on the Kuja Archaeologist with the Kuja Relic in hand. So let's go do that. Where is the Kuja Archaeologist? It's wiki time. So apparently he is over here. Is it this guy? Aha! It is! Whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, there it is. Edition 9004. Yeah, we're not getting anywhere close to high edition. Under 10,000 though. I am quite surprised about that. Okay, cool. So we got the leggings now. What is next? So we need to say something to the Kudra Law Master on the Crimson Isle on Tuesday. On Tuesday, UTC 5 o'clock. It is Tuesday, but it's not 5 o'clock. It is 3.31. Does it have to be at 5 o'clock? I need with 1 million magma cream and netherrack in collection, as well as 1,024 enchanted magma cream i need a thousand and twenty four enchanted magma cream do i have enough inventory space for this i don't think i do so hang on if i just put away my stuff real quick a thousand and twenty four of you okay cool so we've got everything we need we just need to go to the kudra law master so i need to go to scarleton so i know scarleton because i'm in the mage faction i cannot travel that far away from the island apparently okay apparently i don't know where i'm going yep that looks like this guy the Kudra Lawmaster, here he is. So I need to say the bridge is collapsing, gets to the center. Now here is where I made a little bit of a mistake. As you can see, I did type it out right. However, I forgot one thing, a comma. There is a missing comma right in between collapsing and get, which actually threw, which threw me off because it, it messed up the whole thing. So if you're doing this, make sure you put the comma there because as you're going to see in the video now, I don't actually get it. And I end up spending about an hour and 20 minutes just sat there waiting for him to spawn, but he never spawns because I messed up the comma and didn't actually get the thing. So again, if you're doing this, make sure you don't forget the comma. Also, just while I'm, I'm here, I think they've changed it to where you can do this at any time now. I don't know if you can do this uh, any time on any different day because I was actually doing this on a Tuesday, which is what the, one of the requirements is. But I believe now it has changed where it's not at 5 p.m. UTC. I, I believe it can now be any time Tuesday. I'm not too sure, so don't quote me on that. But that seems to be the case as I've spoken to quite a few people who have had the same experience. So I'll click on him and then I'll say that. Is that it? So on Tuesday at five o'clock, click on the Kudra Lawmaster in Deep Mines. So I need to visit the old structure then, I guess. So I need to what? Come over over here. So I need to go to X minus 256. There it is. Oh my God. I forgot this place was here. Wow. This sends me back. Okay. The server's lagging at the moment. Okay. I can't. I cannot travel too far away from the island. That is sad. Why do you do this to me? Look at this place. Oh my god, I forgot about this place. The Blazing Fortress. It has been a long time since I've been here. I'm guessing it's, uh, yeah, it's in here. 146, 256, 120. Yeah, so it's right here. So we should spawn here in about an hour and a half. So we just got to wait then. Me and me and this guy, we're just going to be waiting. Oh, I got one minute. Hopefully he spawns. Okay, it is, it is now five. He's not here. Maybe I have to change lobbies. So I'm at a problem right now because I'm just watching 
watching a video on how it because he didn't spawn. So I'm watching a video on how to do it and I've done the steps, but he's not. His dialogue isn't changing. I'm very confused by this and quite off that i've just spent an hour and a half waiting for this guy to show up and he didn't okay i'll just yeah okay we'll do the chest plate first okay so as you know i messed that up so i gave up and i thought i'd come back to it later and let's do the chest plate next now the chest plate requires that you have two players standing at dragon's hell town square the basically standing at the fire pit in the barb faction area and then two players at skeleton plaza which is uh basically just two two players standing at the fountain in the mage faction and then two players at the strong hold which includes you so it's you and one other to standing at arch at the stronghold which will then allow you to get the kudra follower chest plate now something to, to keep in mind i've heard that you don't need two players at barb to be in the barb faction and two players at mage to be in the mage faction which uh, apparently is what it used to be so you'd have to have two players at barb who are in the barb faction and two players at mage in the mage faction i've heard people who have stood in the barb faction area as a mage and it still work but i'm not too sure so keep that in mind when you're going for this oh and also all six players need to have ember armor or rekindled ember armor just a full set of that and are wearing it and they also need a level 81 one plus kudra pet it can be any rarity it does not matter as long as it's a kudra pet and it's level 81 or higher click on arch where there are two players at dragon town scale uh the uh, buzz two players at scarleton and another two at stronghold all with a level 81 plus kudra pet and ember armor oh the dialogue has changed oh i got it thank you gamers thank you everyone in the You're party welcome. helping that's the mage's energy doesn't even have the armor. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bridge is collapsing. Bomber gets to the center. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I spell everything right. There you go. I've said it. What the hell? Why is he working now? Oh, brah. Yeah, okay. So now I'll just take all of this out. Nice, finally. Yeah, the boots. Uh, okay, now I I'm going to go for the helmet now too. I need to get the wet napkin anyway first. Okay, so now is time to get the final piece of the armor set, the helmet. But that has a prerequisite first. So you need to fish up the wet napkin, which is needed to obtain the helmet. So basically what you have to do for this is you have to donate 1 million coins to the Kudra Believer, which is where the, the Fleb Glass Pool is just where you enter the Magma Boss Arena. You need to be any tier of Kudra, so you can just do a basic tier of Kuja and still get this or you could just you know do an infernal tier Kuja. it really does not matter it can be any tier and then once you do that you have to interact with this npc the coordinates will be on screen now you have to interact with the npc up there and then you've got to fish with an elegant tuxedo a bonzo mask with respiration one it can only have respiration one on it and then you need to be fishing with ice bait to get the wet napkin so that's what we're doing now yeah i think you have to donate a million and then go fish up uh, the wet napkin first Okay, so oh, isn't it this guy? Into amount one million. There you go. Be your troubles. Oh my god, I don't have a key. Imagine I drop in fatal tempo. <laughs> Imagine I drop in rager. Oh my god, I cry. <laughs> the mobs have no HP. This is so funny. You can breathe on them and they die. <laughs> it's like one hype and they're done. Don't worry, guys. I'll CC stun. Now I'm gonna equip everything. And I will. Oh, pff, oh that was a bad time to equip everything. <laughs> Died in tier one. Okay, we don't need to speak about it. I wish Infernal was that easy. Yeah, if Infernal was that easy, we'd have like 20 second world record. <laughs> oh, I got it. First try. Oh, I got go. it. <laughs> Yo, okay, nice. Hang in there. Yo. What would you need now? Uh, Helmet. All right, lads, it's time. The final piece, the helmet. Now, this is a pretty obscure one to get because of all the things that go into it, but it's actually, it's it's very it's fairly simple. Now, before you do anything, make sure you brew a splashable water-breathing six potion. You'll see why in a second. And also a lead. And then also, you'll need to go into the Fischl Hunters Discord, which I will link down in the description, and run the command slash hunt helmet. And I believe you'll have to put in your IGN as one of the arguments as well. And then that will tell you a specific amount of money you will need to donate to the Kuja Believer. So you will now need to go fish up a Fleblegast from the Fleblegast pool, which is the place where the Kuja Believer is. You will need to fish it up and then splash it with a water breathing six potion that you have to stop it from suffocating to death and then drag it over to the Kuja Believer with the lead and donate the amount of money that the bot tells you in the official Hunters Discord server. And then that will give you the helmet. Very weird. I don't know how people find all of these steps. It's really just some big brain energy that I I do not have but that's what we're doing right now uh okay 
Where's the where's the guy? He's here, swordfish here. I'm selling the, these tuxedo pants. Apparently, elegant tuxedo pants, lowest bin, 179 mil. Yeah, I don't oh. think so. <laughs> Yo, fishing 50 while looking for flood glass. <laughs> I imagine. Oh, I got a flood glass. Oh, oh, okay. So he's nearby. So I just got to donate, right? Okay, wait. That amount. You have to donate wow. a specific amount. Yeah, yeah, I've already run the command. Chuck that on. Yeah, dripped yeah. out now. F yeah. Right. Now it's time for the one of the final steps of this talisman. There's still some steps after it, but they're very short compared to everything we've just done. So now it's time to get the Kuja follower artifact, which requires you have 100 million coins, 1,024 enchanted red sand, 1,024 enchanted mycelium and 64 kuja teeth. Quite expensive, yes I know. So you will now need to wait for a cataclysmic lobby, which you can either find or look for in the official hunters discord, and go talk to Draku, who is on one of the castle's bridges to the top right of the kuja gateway area. So with the cataclysmic eruption, while you've got your full set of kuja follower armor equipped, he will then sell you the kuja follower artifact. But in order to get the final form of this talisman, there is one more thing you have to get, which is the Kuja Teeth Plaque. Now you will need to get it as the exquisite Kuja Teeth Plaque, which requires a golden ball from Jake. You need to talk to Draku while wearing the armor and holding the golden ball, and he will give you the exquisite Kuja Teeth Plaque. And you will have to keep downgrading that until you get to the decaying Kuja Teeth Plaque. That's a lot of money, just that like 100 million on top of red sand and mycelium. Yeah. And 64 Kuja teeth. I've got all of that, but like, bro. Ooh, that's true. You have the teeth, right? Yeah, thank God for that. I think I got yeah, okay. all of those Kuja runs yesterday. <laughs> oh my God. I just recorded all of that with my microphone muted. I am so pissed off. But basically what happened, I'll show the game. I'll show the gameplay. We managed to get the uh, Kuja teeth, the exquisite Kuja teeth plaque, and then we upgraded it into well and then we downgraded it into the unpleasant kuja teeth plaque and then the gnarly kuja teeth plaque and then the repulsive kuja teeth plaque and then the decaying kuja teeth plaque and then now that we've got this we've got to wait until we get the kuja follower artifact because the next step of this uh this is what upgrades it to the kuja follower relic so we've got to have the kuja follower artifact we need to hold the kuja teeth plaque in my hand and have the kuja follower artifact in my inventory interact with the kuja gatekeeper and then click the poison potion under infernal kuja i'm not too sure i think we're gonna have to do an infernal kuja for that which is fine i love doing infernal kuja so that's fine by me so yeah we're just kind of waiting for that now oh someone just pinged a chasmoclitic i need this so badly come on i've been sat i've been here fishing all f day yes i'm in okay i am sprinting i need to go over to this guy Where's he at? He's up here. I forgot. He's up here. Okay, uh, so I need to talk to you with my full set of Kuja follower armor equipped like that. Okay. I seem like someone of similar interests. I have a shop of some unique items that may interest me. There it is. The Kuja follower artifact. I forgot that I need all of that stuff. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. 64 Kuja teeth. All of this. And there it is, the Kuja follower artifact. Oh my god. Uh, let me put the light on. Oh, there we go. Well, now we've got this, we've just got to upgrade it to the Kuja follower uh, art artifact or relic. It's the relic. Obtained at the same time, the addition Kuja teeth plaque is obtained. Okay, so I need to get the Kuja teeth plaque, which I have worked on. All right, now that I have the artifact, I'll keep that in my inventory. I'm going <laughs> to take all of my stuff back out. Hold the Kuja teeth plaque in my hand. Okay, so I have this this decaying Kudra teeth plaque right here. So I need to interact with the Kudra gatekeeper. He's down here. I believe this is what I do. Poison Kudra's teeth. Okay, here it is. So I need to click the poison under Infernal Kudra. And there it is. The Kudra teeth plaque and the Kudra follower relic. There it is, gamers. Okay, let's put this straight into the hex. There we go. Recom that and there we go free magical power oh my god i'm so happy we finally got this let's go